Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you guys are doing well. This is kind of an awkward video for, for me to make considering just 30 days ago I posted a video why Starlink is not for me. And yet what is this in my hand right here? <laughs> I can explain, <laughs> I swear. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and lift off of Starlink 4 34. Go Falcon 9. Yeah guys, so in that video last month in the Pacific Northwest with the tall trees, I had been researching Starlink for a very long time and I love my Nomad internet. There's a link below in the video description as always. Starlink is not paying me for this. I paid for all this equipment out of my own fund here and uh, that is because ever since I got out into Arizona where the trees are not very tall and there is lots of Usually there's sunshine, but more importantly, a clear shot of the northern sky. Today is just a little muggy and cloudy with some thunderstorms and lightning off in the distance. Uh, however, after being here for a little bit with Frank and Tammy having Starlink, Kevin using Starlink, and looking at my AT&T and Verizon, we're too far away from the towers. Uh, here at Kevin's base camp, we're about 20 miles from the nearest cell tower, and it's just not working. I'm getting speeds under 4 megabits per second download and point. O2 upload. It would take 22 years to upload a video here with Nomad Internet. So I need a backup. So I will say that Starlink is my my backup on the road and I'll show you how I'm gonna hook it up. First we gotta unbox it and figure out how it all works. Yeah so in case you are not familiar with Starlink you can watch my other video. I will link it at the end also but uh, the Starlink uh, works with satellites up in the sky. Oh, they'll be the uh, northern sky for us here but essentially we're going to be connecting to a bunch of satellites for some high speed internet. This kit costs currently right now 600 bucks and for an RV version I got the RV version it's going to be $135 a month for unlimited internet. So, here's what we got. We've got a very good metal stand. Cool. Using Frank's trailer right now. Then some junk there. And then we've got the dish itself. Nice, nice. So pretty simple, the stand, the dish, 75 feet of wire. There's the indoor router with a power cord for regular 110 connection. And then a little diagram how to put this thing together. Uh, I'm gonna be keeping this metal portable stand because, because it's portable, there are going to be times where I'm gonna want Starlink, but mounting something to the roof is going to you know, limit my ability to get Starlink. So for today's demonstration, I'm gonna show you how I am going to hook this dish up semi-permanently on the roof. If we go to the back of my RV here, you may remember I've got the Flag Buddy kit. This holds my telescoping flagpole here at the bottom of the base, and then it's got another hookup up there. Well, it turns out that Flag Buddy got smart, and they decided that it'd be a good idea to cater to people who want to have Starlink on the back of their ladder. So they sell these two four-foot sections of aluminum pipe that cannot turn once, once they're locked in. Uh, more importantly, they've created a 3D printed uh, Starlink aftermarket adapter here for the top, which also locks in. It's important to lock it in because you don't want the dish to rotate. So this... I will show you how easily this fits up here. You can kind of see the angle of that up there. So I just put this at an angle and then slide it up. The base clicks right into there like that. Tighten these up and then this will not move or vibrate and the dish goes on the top. So let me hook that all up and then we'll go from there. All right, got the dish up there and locked into place. Next step for the purposes of this video, I'm going to plug in my router right here because I have power here. So you plug in the two cords and the AC. Also, it says uh, to have the app ready and downloaded. Plug that guy in right there and then we'll go grab my app. Um, I guess it's stinky. It's the only thing new here, stinky. Okay, I'm gonna click on stinky. We're gonna connect to that real quick here. All right, now we enter in a Wi-Fi name. 
Nomadic, Fanatic, Star, Link, and a password. Go ahead and refresh the Wi Fi's here. And there it is Nomadic, Fanatic, Star, Link. Click on that guy. Let me enter my password. It says we're connected now. Now we'll open the Starlink app that I downloaded previous. Yes, you can connect. We are going to start the setup process here and we're gonna allow and then, uh, oh, Felix is going. Felix is heading back to, to uh, Phoenix area. <laughs> look at that tracker. It's a nice looking tracker. Hopefully we'll see him later this weekend. Oh, look at that. It, it's uh, it, So now we're booting right now where it's going to scan the sky for the first time. It says it could take up to 15 minutes the first time. And then uh, it'll fold back down a different way when it's ready. We'll give it some time here. Well, I looked away for a couple minutes and now it says online. And so I guess that's its final resting point for here. I believe we are actually connected. All right, well, we're going to do our first test here. Look, right underneath Camper Van Kevin Starlink, you got Nomadic Fanatic Starlink. So let's go ahead and connect to this for the first time. All right, got my password entered just to verify. It's blue. We are on my Starlink. Now we'll do another speed test here. And we'll see if it can get... Hang on. There it is, SpaceX Starlink. Awesome. Oh, this is exciting. Say go, check one more time, make sure it's, yep, still me. And here we go, guys. The first official test for Starlink. Um, four. Four. Five, maybe? What the? Uh, officially, we'll call it 7.65 download. Uh... And then it's like about five or less. Four for upload? It keeps going down. What the heck? That is seven download and four upload? For for SpaceX? Starlink? I, I'm a little confused because that clearly is not 900 megabits per second or even 500. Seven? It's about the same as your phone, as your cell phone. Does it get better? I don't know. Um, it says I have great coverage. It would be much, much worse if I were a pla in a place where I had some obstructions or trees or buildings or it was a, a high use area or something like that. But I'm out here in the desert where Starlink should be at its, its prime. And do you think its prime is seven down and four up? Is that worth $135 a month and $600 in equipment? I don't know. I don't have pretty much any Verizon or AT&T out here, so this is all you can really get. Um, I'm just not too impressed with that, and I don't really know what else to say. Let me give it five minutes and see if it gets better. It's been about 10 minutes, so uh, we're gonna try this one more time. I still can't get the app to work. It's, it has its own speed test, and it just keeps saying temporarily unavailable. Now we're getting two download, one download, one megabit, not, not, not a thousand, <laughs> one. Officially 2.76 on our second try. Uploads going a little higher, six or seven, now five. Um, wow. Boop. I booped you. Sometimes you just have to boop the boy. I had to boop you. What are you doing? Man, clearly I'm trying to sleep. Clearly, man. Jeez, can't get any peace and quiet around here. I think once we get all set up on the property, we need to build a, a outdoor catio and a run so you guys can actually run and do sprints through an outdoor safe catio with chicken wire where the, key, where the, where the birdies can't get you, okay? I know you want to get the birdies, but I think the birdies will get you. I think they will. I think you better be careful. We all gotta be careful, okay? Where's your sister? Can I have a foot? Can I have a foot? Can I have a paw? Can I have a foot? I can't have a foot? Okay, go back to sleep. Terra Bear, look, it's your taco fish. It's your taco fish, it's your favorite. You don't even like sharing that one with Opie. That's like her favorite toy. How you doing, girl? Yeah, do you like the puppies here? Opie gets along with uh, Tucker and, and Baby May May and Martini and Wilson and we got Harley. We got a lot of puppies here right now. Uh, Foxy Lady. 
a lot of puppies to play with, and the kitties are doing pretty good. Tara's, Tara doesn't really want to play with any of the puppies. Opie's very curious. Tara's just kind of her own little self, and that's okay. She's a good girl. Yeah. You excited about outdoor desert life, farm life at some point? Okay. What about chickens? Dad wants to get some egg laying hens and maybe a rooster to be our friend. And then you can be, you can be the boss of the chickens. We'll have to do that, huh? Yeah, okay. All right, well, I've tried it a, a few times here throughout the day. I've been talking with Kevin and Frank and uh, they said it gets better. You can see sometimes 40 out here, 40 down after 10 p.m. Um, but I don't get the fascination when I don't see the results that I'm expecting. Maybe I just really thought that I was going to see higher speeds and it's just there's too many people on Starlink now because they've made it available to everybody in an RV. And, and um, anyway, I have 30 days to return it and I will get a refund for the equipment. I still owe the, the uh, first month's uh, fee and everything, but um, we're gonna be getting on the road here pretty soon doing some traveling uh, a little update on the property We are still in the closing phase. It's a little bit difficult. I don't have a date yet I think tomorrow I will know what our end date is uh, That's when I need to either do a wire transfer or get a cashier's check for the balance of that so that I can pay for it and officially get the deed to the property which means I can start moving in however, I have decided that I'm not gonna be staying here for the first winter here. Uh, there may be some other YouTubers you follow that are going to try that. Uh, I myself, I want to spend a good season uh, out on my property getting things ready and getting comfortable out there. So although I may still do a couple things before I leave, it's getting colder and I need to take care of some other business in other parts of the country. So we'll be, leave, we'll be hitting the road here pretty soon. Uh, anyway, let me know in the comments below uh, how Starlink is working for you. Um, if it was really, really bad the first day you got it and then it got better, or uh, if I'm just the only one with, with a eh, experience. Let me know in the comments below. Hey, a little update here. Uh, it's the next day. Uh, last night, Starlink actually did not improve at 10 p.m. Like some had said, uh, mine actually went under one megabit per second download. And upload, I think, was at like three, but I mean, I couldn't even stream or open up YouTube or anything last night. However, I woke up this morning, and after less than 24 hours, now I'm getting 77 download and 20 up, which honestly is all I'm really asking for. It's just right now, it's fluctuating a lot. I've had some friends tell me that it might take a full week until my system is really ready and configured and got all the right firmware and everything. So believe me, as I travel on the road this next week, we're gonna be testing this out everywhere we go every single day and night because uh, I really wanna see what it's capable of. In the meantime, like I said, I'm going to be uh, packing up here for a little bit and going on a little trip, waiting for my property to close. This is an interesting view of uh, Kevin's property here. There's even a surprise body of water out there. It's gorgeous, right? Okay. All right, so y'all stay tuned. Uh, Tara and Opie and I will see you in the next one in a few days, I guess. Whoop.